Since the beginning of time, men have always valued purity in women. A man's pride back then was directly dependent to how pure his pride was. In some parts of Africa today, purity is still considered a sign off good luck. There is only one thing that makes a woman pure. Feminists have tried and failed to change it. In their best attempt to conceal and totally nullify the idea of purity, they have institutionalized promiscuity under the banner of my body, my rules. Nothing is more disgusting than this disguise to strip guarded girls from the one thing that differentiate them from the rest. The purest of all women are virgins and a majority of Sigma females are still virgins. For those that are not based on my own metrics and personal experience with Sigma females, the most promiscuous Sigma has at most five bodies with the exception of outliers. Their first is a lesson and the second is usually the one they get married to. Purity is a big deal to Sigma females as it is to traditional men. It is based on this that most Sigma females regard themselves as high value women. A woman's value does not come from how much money she makes or her position in society, but from how many men she has slept with. A woman's value diminishes with every man she sleeps with, but the reverse is true for men. A man's value comes from how much money he makes, his position in the society and how desirable he is to other women. Purity comes from being selfish, conservative, and treating your body as a temple. Purity is relative in today's world since sex has lost its original essence. A woman with five bodies to some degree is considered purer than a woman with 20 bodies. Sex must be meaningful for a Sigma female to partake in it. To them sex is not all about having fun, it is about forming a deeper connection with someone. It is a sign of commitment, exclusivity and validation that you are the one. If there is one thing men enjoy more than sex and food in a relationship is exclusivity. The feeling of knowing that he is the one and only one with access to his woman's body. There is no feeling greater than this feeling among men and Sigma females, no, just how to make men feel that way. They do this by being guarded and exclusive. Her body is meant for one man, the love of her life. The most beautiful part to loving a guarded girl is this. The most beautiful part to loving a guarded girl is this. When she lets you in, it's not because she needs you. She stopped needing people a long time ago. It's because she wants you. And that is the purest love of them all. Sigma females are not without faults and imperfections even though there is more to them than meets the eye. In my personal opinion, they are the perfect woman every man should be hoping for. They bring a lot to the table than any man could ever ask for. They are pure, exclusive and feminine. They are submissive, nurturing and respectful. They are hardworking, independent and reliable. Purity is not the sole determination of how men view women even though it has more bearing on selection than we think. Love is tricky and life is complicated. This video is not to shame people about their sexuality or sexual past. Its sole purpose is to educate and entertain its viewers. Not every woman is born with such levels of intelligence and reasoning like a Sigma female. Everything about Sigma females works in their favor in one way or the other. Their social awkwardness and solitary lifestyle keep them locked away from the buzzing lifestyle outside their comfort zone. Most Sigma females are late bloomers which serves them best because they learn a lot from others' mistakes and perfect their game way before they hit the sexual market. Being a Sigma has its perks, but it is not for the faint-hearted. Being Sigma is difficult as the saying goes to whom more is given more is expected. Such is the life of a Sigma be it male or female. Don't forget to give this video a like if you haven't done so already. Subscribe and watch this video on your screen to know more about Sigma females and how to attract one.